Hey everyone, welcome back. And if this is your first time here, my name is Alex. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to work on your handstands from zero. You don't need any previous experience. All you need is a chair or a bench and a wall. I have also chosen to put the warm up exercises at the end so you can see all the drills, see all the technical aspects, and then you can warm up and give them a go. So first exercise, if you have never done a handstand before and you don't feel comfortable kicking up to a handstand against the wall, we're going to be using our chair or the bench. So I'm going to place my hands down on the ground, flat on the ground, fingers are super, super open. So I have a lot of surface under my hands and I'm going to be walking my feet onto the box or the chair. From here, I'm going to make sure that I'm pushing through my shoulders and moving my shoulders over my fingertips. So I'm not arching down to the ground like so. You can do this two to three times and try to hold for at least 15 to 30 seconds. Once the hold feels comfortable for you, you're going to be rocking back and forth like so and going as far over your fingertips as you can. You can be doing 10 to 15 repetitions of these two to four sets. Once you feel comfortable with that, we're going to be doing the same using the wall. So I place my hands down on the ground and I'm going to be walking my feet up the wall. Once you feel comfortable with that, we're going to be walking our hands closer and closer to the wall. So I'm here, I'm pushing through my shoulders and I'm going to be walking my hands to the wall. As I walk my hands to the wall, I will need to be extending my legs. If this is how close to the wall you come, that's great. Two to four sets of 15 to 30 second holds. Once this is easy for you, we're going to be walking closer to the wall. So our chest almost touches the wall, remembering to push through our shoulders, squeeze our glutes, our feet are together. And the last thing I'm going to talk about today is two technical aspects of a handstand. So when I do a handstand, I want to make sure that my arms are super straight. So I'm squeezing my triceps so my arms are not bending. And I also want to be pushing through my shoulders. So it is as if I want to reach as high up as I can. When I'm upside down, it feels like you're pushing the ground away. And the second one is that we want to make sure that our hands are shoulder width apart and shoulder width often feels like it's this wide, but shoulder width is actually this wide. So your fingers are almost going to be touching. The best way of working on keeping your arms narrow, in my opinion, is just to video yourself when you do your handstands so you can see how wide your arms are. So a thing I used a lot when I started doing handstands was when I looked down at the ground at my hands, I always wanted to make sure that the space between my thumbs is about the size of my fist. So this is what worked for me because I am quite a small person. If your shoulders are wider, you might need a different technique, but just try to think about something like that. So we are at the end of the video now, so I'm going to quickly cover a few exercises you can do to warm up. So the first exercise is a downward facing dog. So I'm just here pushing through my shoulders and I'm going to be walking my feet first for about 30 seconds. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do big circles with my shoulders one way, then the other way. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to be moving into a plank or push-up position, coming back to my downward facing dog, just so I warm up my wrist. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to be doing push-ups. So either on your knees or on your feet, hands quite narrow, and I'm going to be going all the way down and all the way up. Once you're done with that, we're going to do a quick warm up for our wrists. So I place my hands flat on the ground and I'm going to be going in big circles first, one way, big circles the other way. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to be coming up to my fingertips. So I'm pushing my fingers down into the ground so I can see my fingers go wide and relax. Push and relax. So we really don't want to be lifting up with our back. I'm pushing my fingers into the ground. Doing this for about 20 to 30 seconds. So that was all I had for today. Good luck, everyone. If you have any questions, just leave a comment or message me on Instagram. I'm super happy to help. See you next time.